Hey guys, Brian here at English Mountain Outdoors. Uh, been posting a lot lately on sassafras. I've been kind of on a sassafras kick. So I wanted to bring you up here with me, mounting up behind my house, show you what I've been doing with it. Uh, I came up yesterday and got a bunch of root. And today uh, I came up here, I'm going to get some leaves. Uh, the leaves can be used for dry them. You dry them out and grind them into a powder, and they will be used to make gumbo fillet seasoning. Um, you have to forgive me. I got dogs up here with me today, so if it gets a little loud, you'll know why. But uh, this mountain up here, it's all, it, this stuff's growing everywhere. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what the plant looks like and then I'm going to show you what I was working on getting the root and the leaves out. All right, this is what the leaves look like. Now, sassafras has actually three different kinds of leaves on it. They're three different shapes. Oddly enough, this one only has two, but uh, I'm sure I can find one here somewhere. Uh, there's when you, you pick one of these leaves off and roll it in your fingers it really smells really super sweet like uh, root beer real spicy smell to it um, a lot of guys old timers they used to just walk through the woods they'd find a plant and yank it up and just chew on the root I've done that it's a little bit too stout for me like that I'm not crazy about doing it that way but uh, it is good. It's a, it makes a delicious tea. Here we go. Let's see. We got the third one there. Well, I'm not finding any with the third leaf on. But, uh, very interesting. Well, I guess I can just kind of explain it to you. This leaf is just oval shaped. Um, this one you can see has three, I guess you call them lobes, I'm not sure. Uh, there's also, normally, it's not on these ones I've got right here, but normally there's one that is oval with just one thumb. It looks like a mitten with one thumb, a mitten with two thumbs, and a mitten with no thumbs. So it's a good way, easy way to identify it. If you're not sure, pinch the leaf off, take a whiff. You'll know instantly if it's sassafras just by the smell. Uh, really a d delicious smelling plant. But, uh, I'm going to get one here and dig it up. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. How I get them. Uh, this one's got, this one don't have the double leaf either. Yeah, it does. There we go. There's one with the, that's the third type I was talking about. But, uh, let me just, I'll dig down in here and try to break the root loose inside. <clears throat> There we go. There it is. That's the root. Uh, I take them home. Um, I've seen guys, they talk about scraping the bark off of them. I don't do that because uh, not somebody, an old timer told me that the bark is where the flavor's at. So I just leave the whole thing intact. In fact, when I go to boil it, normally I'll just break it into a couple of small pieces and throw it in a pot of water and let it boil. The tea, when it gets ready, it's a real dark red color. Um, I add a little bit of honey to it. The sassafras is, it does have some tannic acid in it, so you, you need to sweeten it a little. It can be bitter. But uh, just chewing on the, on the stems, you can get the flavor really nice. But uh, that's what I do. I get, I'm gonna collect a bunch of leaves and 
I'm not gonna really go for any more roots. I've already got a bunch of roots at the house drying out, but uh, I just wanted to come up and show you what I guys what I've been kind of focused on the last week or so. Um, probably my favorite wild tea that I've tried. But uh, it's a good good flavor tea. The kids like it. Real sweet. Uh, but that's it. I just want to show you what I was doing. And when I get back down to the house, I'm going I'm to go around here and give me some more leaves and stuff gathered up. And when I get back to the house, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing down there. I just got a table with the roots laid out and uh, leaves laying there drying. I'll grind them into a powder with my coffee grinder. But uh, I'll be back shortly. All right, so I'm back at the house now. This was the roots that I gathered up yesterday. Um, I just take a pair of these wire cutters, cheapos from, I don't know, Harbor Freight or somewhere, and cut them up into chunks like that. When they dry, I will... This time I'm going to powder them. Somebody told me the tea's a little better if you powder the roots, so I'm going to try it. Um, I don't know. Normally I just throw a few chunks into water and boil it as is, and tea's pretty good, so I'm going to try it powdered, see if it any, makes it any different. Um, the leaves, these I'll dry out, and when they are good and dry and crumbly, I'll throw them in my coffee grinder and grind them up into a powder. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried gumbo fillet seasoning, but basically it is sassafras leaves. So I had a great flavor to just about anything. Um, I do like cooking with uh, gumbo fillet on fish and crawfish and stuff like that. It, it adds a good different flavor to it. But that's pretty much it. I will... Uh, Grind up. This will all end up being powder at some point. Um, I like to, I always like to keep some of the sassafras in my kit just for tea. I, I had been buying some sassafras root. I didn't realize I had it growing back here till a few weeks ago, and now that I'm actually out there looking, I've got it laying everywhere. So, well, <laughs> the wind picking up on me. So, but. That's all the video I wanted to do. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here with the sassafras, the root, and the leaves. I will, uh, I've already got some pictures online of the tea and stuff that I made, so we'll, uh, I'm not going to bother you with showing you that, but, uh, give it a shot. If, you, if you've ever tried it, you know how good it is. If you haven't, you're really missing out. It's a good thing. But, uh, I'll see you guys on my next video. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you like it, subscribe, share it. I uh, really appreciate the support. You guys have a great day.